Well, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has battled his weight all of his life, and he announced yesterday that he decided to try something different in order to lose weight. He secretly had gastric banding surgery in February in an attempt to lose weight and make sure that he is there for his family. So just what is this surgery Christie Christy had and who are the best candidates for it? Dr. Guillermo Campos is a bariatric surgeon at UW Hospital and he joins us today. Thank you for being with us, doctor. We Thank really appreciate it. Me. Now, there are a lot of names for this. Uh, gastric banding, gastric uh, bariatric surgery. Explain exactly what we're talking so, about. So, bariatric surgery entails basically three different types of procedures. Laparoscopic gastric banding that uh, Governor Christie had, gastric bypass, that is the procedure that is most commonly done in the United States, and laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. All three are done using minimally invasive techniques and have different outcomes or results. Mm -hmm. And gastric banding is what Dr. Governor Christie had. And this is what he had done? So exactly. So this is what he had inserted. It's basically a uh, silicone device that is placed around the most superior portion of the stomach, connected to a tubing, into a port that sits inside the patient's uh, fat underneath his skin and it can be adjusted. And with that, the patient feels an early fullness after a meal. So this mm -hmm. gradually closes. This gradually can be decreased in size so the outlet of the band is actually uh, uh, smaller and provides a patient with an early fullness. It's, is it? it's not a permanent fix. No, it is actually oh, it is. A, a designed to be placed for life, of course the band and the other procedures can be uh, reversed, but it takes another surgery, it takes another procedure. But this is designed to be for the patient's life. So how do you decide which one to use? Depends on the person or the results they want? So this is uh, a decision that should be made looking to individual patient characteristics, including the presence of other diseases that are associated to obesity, including type 2 diabetes, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, and many others, to see which procedure should be used for the individual patient. Band is one of the options. It's not the one that is most commonly used in the United States, but it's one of the options. And like the Governor Christie sat with his surgeon, made a decision that that was the best procedure for him. How effective is it? So actually uh, the band from the three is the one who has the least amount of uh, weight loss but compared to diet is, is still uh, very good. Most patients would lose on average about 80 pounds in the first year after wow. surgery as opposed to gastric bypass average weight loss is around 100 to 120 pounds and the sleeve gastrectomy is somewhere in between. And you would do this on someone who is pretty large and can't seem to lose the weight. There are clear indications for bariatric surgery defined by the National Institutes of Health and uh, we follow that. That is basically you need to be severely obese. You need to have a body mass index above 30 with uh, above 35 with severe associated diseases to obesity or a body mass index above 40 with or without those diseases. And also you need to be evaluated by a multidisciplinary team uh, that will see if you are indeed ready to make the lifestyle changes that are needed for bariatric surgery to be successful. What is important to understand is that bariatric surgery is a tool to help these individuals lose weight. It is not the ultimate answer. The patient needs to buy in into this process and be ready to make lifestyle changes, including changing eating habits and change uh, lifestyle in regards to exercise for this to be successful in the long term. How significant is someone in the public eye, like Chris Christie, having success with this? Do you do, do you do many of them every year? So this is one of the most common general surgical procedures in the United States. Around 200,000 of those procedures are done per year in the United States, so it's a very common surgical procedure and it's a very effective surgical procedure. I think there's greater significance when a celebrity or a public persona has this uh, and brings the, the, to the public eye that indeed for the individual who is morbid or obese, with or without severe obesity associated diseases, surgery is an option the, when it's done in, in, in properly selected individuals. And there's always an option out there. I'll give you this back. Thank, Thank you, you for bringing that. It was <laughs> fascinating to Thank actually you. see it in person. Thank, Thank you, you Doctor. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.